This is the first worked out problem. I have a class problems word document in Blackboard. Go ahead and download that and print the file and you will see these problems in that file. And you can work the problems along with me. So the first problem is for the following project. Draw a o n network and find all the paths and duration of the paths. So we start with drawing the network. Okay, we start. And A is the activity with no predecessors, only one. So okay, A and I'll put the duration right below it. And then we have B and C coming after A. So B nine weeks. C is six weeks and then comes D after B and E comes after B and C. And F comes after C. G comes after D and E. And H comes after E and F. And then we have finish. Now with this, we can set up the successors. So A successors are B and C. And we can verify that by looking at for what activities A is a predecessor. So B and C. Then B, B is a predecessor for D and E. C is a predecessor for E and F. And you can verify that here also. D D is a predecessor only for G and E is a predecessor for G and H. F is a predecessor for H. G is not a predecessor anywhere, so that is finish. Okay, like that. And H as well. Next, we have to set up the paths we need to make sure that we count all the paths and not miss anything. So one way of doing that is to make sure that whenever there is a choice, you take the uppermost arrow. So we have A, B, then we have a choice, so you take the upper arrow D and then G. Then once you've completed, trace back to the point, the last point at which you have to make a choice and make the other choice. So then we have A, B, E, and G. Now we made a choice at E, so you have to trace back only up to E, and then make the other choice. That will be H. Now go back. Now back. So now we go back to A. And now you make the other choice, so C. And once again, you have to make the upper choice, E and G. And then trace back to E and go here, H. And then trace back, you get A, C, F, H. So these are the paths. Now we have to compute the duration. So we add the duration of activities along the path. So 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 21. Then we get 3 plus 9 plus 8 plus 6 equal to 26 and then 3 plus 9 plus 
8 plus 4 equal to 24 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 equal to 23 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 4 equal to 21 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 equal to 18. So now the longest path that is our critical path. So critical path is A, B, E and G. The project completion time is 26 weeks. So that's A, B, E and G. And the critical activities or A, B, E and G on any delay in these activities will cause the project uh, the, the project uh, the path duration to exceed 26 and the project completion time will be delayed. So non-critical activities are the remaining ones like C, D, F and H. So C, D, F and H. So any delay along these uh, the, in these activities okay, as long as the paths do not extend beyond 26 the project completion time will remain at 26 it will not change that's the reason why these are non-critical activities